From a tower designed to stand up to hurricanes to the second tallest building on Earth, in this video, we'll look at the biggest skyscrapers currently under construction in 2023. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for creating a website and growing your brand. More on that later. Let's start with number 17 for Frankfurt. 233 meters. Frankfurt am Main is famous for its skyline, with 18 skyscrapers reaching over 150 meters into the sky. There's only one other skyscraper in the whole of Germany, the Post Tower in Bonn. And the skyscraper district, also nicknamed Manhattan, isn't done with skyscrapers yet. Four new towers are under construction, with a shared platform at the base. These new skyscrapers will vary in height, with the tallest standing at 233 meters. It won't be quite the tallest building in the city, but it will squeeze in at number three. This tower will be used for offices, and so will the shortest tower of the four. The other two towers will house a luxury Kimpton Hotel and apartments, while 30% of them are reserved for social housing. It's an impressive project, but it isn't even close to the tallest skyscraper currently being built. Number 16, Waldorf Astoria Hotel, 317 meters. This groundbreaking project is due to become the first super tall building in Florida. It's visually striking, like a glittering stack of glass boxes, but that isn't the most impressive thing about it. The state of Florida is often gripped by raging, hurricane-force winds. Because of this, they've always been wary about building skyscrapers. There's just too much risk of collapse. But the Waldorf Astoria will use a tuned mass damper to stop it from swaying in the wind. This technology reduces mechanical vibrations, almost like a giant gyroscope. It's been used to stabilize other skyscrapers, like the John Hancock Tower in Boston. In the 1990s, the upper floors of this tall building were swaying so much that people complained of motion sickness. A tuned mass damper was used to keep it steady. But the winds in Boston are nowhere near as strong as the hurricanes in Florida, and the Waldorf Astoria will be 80 meters taller than the John Hancock. In other words, this tuned mass damper will need to work a lot harder to keep the building safe. Number 15, Azrieli Spiral Tower, 323 meters. On the other side of the world, this beautiful skyscraper is going up in Tel Aviv. The design is meant to make the tower look like a giant scroll, gently unraveling in a spiral. At the top of the tower, a public space will be used for events and entertainment. On a clear day, people will be able to see all the way to Jerusalem, where the holy city stands more than 50 kilometers away. Number 14, Azabudai Hills, 325 meters. Of all the projects under construction, Azabudai Hills in central Tokyo is one that will be finished this year. This residential tower has been under construction since 2019 and is on track to open by the end of 2023. Japan is prone to earthquakes, and just like the hurricane force winds in Florida, this makes it harder to build super tall buildings. But Japanese architects have come up with plenty of solutions. Their skyscrapers are some of the strongest in the world. The foundations are supported by shock absorbers, the tops are stabilized by tune mass dampers, and the exteriors are strengthened by protective steel mesh. But none of the existing earthquake-proof towers are as ambitious as Azabudai Hills, which is due to become the tallest building in the country. The giant structure will even include a warehouse full of emergency supplies, like food and power cells, in case a major earthquake hits and residents need a place to take shelter. Number 13, the One, 338 meters. This super tall skyscraper is shaping up to be the tallest building in Canada. The current record holder is First Canadian Place, which has been standing unchallenged since 1976. If everything goes to plan, the One will beat First Canadian Place by exactly 40 meters. This project has been in the works for a while now. It was first announced in 2015, and two years later, more than 3,000 people had registered for apartments, despite the fact that construction hadn't even started. The first bricks were put down in August 2017, but in 2019, the project hit a roadblock when the city of Toronto issued an order for construction to stop immediately. Usually, skyscrapers receive planning permission in stages. First, they get a permit to excavate the site, then a permit to build the foundations, then a permit to build the first few floors, and so on. The developers of the One received a permit to excavate the construction site, but they started building the tower's foundations before the next permit had been approved, and that's why the government blocked it. 
the construction site sat there for half a year while the city worked out the next stage of permissions. Eventually, everything was sorted out and construction got back underway. There are plans to complete this giant building in 2024. When it's finished, the tower will hold hundreds of apartments, plus a hotel, shops, and an outdoor pool. Number 12. Oxley Tower 1, 338 meters. This skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur will be exactly the same height as the Toronto 1 at 338 meters. It will also be finished in the same year, 2024. The building will stand not far from the iconic Patronus Towers, which are the tallest twin skyscrapers in the world. Oxley Tower 1 will be part of a set of triple skyscrapers known collectively as Oxley Towers. It will be a luxury space with five-star hotel rooms and extravagant offices for Malaysia's rich elite. Number 11, Uptown Tower, 340 meters. Going taller and taller, this project in Dubai is extremely close to completion. The final concrete was poured in January 2022 before a steel crown was added to the building, topping the structure out at 340 meters. The interior of the tower isn't finished yet, but it's expected to open in the next few months. The office spaces in the Uptown Tower have already been snapped up by businesses, including Hisense, Hikvision, and the Gemological Institute of America. Number 10. Central Bank of the Republic of Turkey, 352 meters. Turkey's central bank was traditionally based in the city of Ankara, but a few years ago, they made the decision to move their headquarters to Istanbul. To mark this move, they're constructing the tallest building in Turkey, which is due to stand at an impressive height of 352 meters. It will actually become the fourth tallest building in the whole of Europe, the tallest outside of Russia. The former head office of the central bank appeared on the back of Turkish banknotes, first in the 1940s, again in the 50s and 60s, and finally in the 1990s. When this new tower is completed, there's a good chance that it will be added to Turkish banknotes in the future. Number 9. Siel Tower, 365 meters. We're back in Dubai for the Siel Tower. Named after the French word for sky, the Siel Tower is unique on this list because it won't have any offices or apartments. The entire building is a hotel. It will become the tallest hotel-only building in the world. The current top five are the Givora Hotel, the JW Marriott Marquis Hotel, the Rose Tower, the Burj Al Arab, and the Jumeirah Emirates Towers. All of these hotels are in Dubai, and the Ciel Tower will top the lot. As things stand, the Ciel Tower is over halfway finished, with more than 50 floors already in place out of a total of 82. The building was designed in a Japanese style by architect Yaya Jan. He said, the curved forms of the glass and metal building are meant to gently reflect in the setting sun. Number 8. Naga 3 Tower A, 358 meters. This $3.5 billion project is underway in Phnom Penh, the capital city of Cambodia. Its three interconnected towers will house hotels and casinos and be overseen by Naga Corp Limited, a hotel, gaming, and leisure company based in Hong Kong. The Naga 3 is named after a mythical seven-headed dragon, which is traditionally associated with gold and good fortune. That's the kind of message this hotel casino is trying to get across. Number 7. Tour F, 385 meters. This next skyscraper is being built in the Ivory Coast. It was designed to resemble a traditional African mask, and it will mainly be used for office space. The tower was originally planned in 1970 as part of a massive plan to urbanize the city of Abidjan, whose population was growing super fast. It tripled between 1965 and 1975, and tripled again by the year 2000. After an economic downturn in the 1980s, the Tour F project was put on hold, but the Ivory Coast came back to the designs in 2021. Construction is now officially underway. By the time it's finished in 2024, it will be the tallest building in West Africa. Number 6. Iconic Tower, 394 meters. If the Tour F had been made just a few years earlier, it would have been the tallest building in the whole of Africa but the iconic tower under construction in Egypt will edge it out by 9 meters. The iconic tower will stand in Egypt's new administrative capital. This urban site not far from Cairo will be the country's new capital when it's completed in 2030. It's a striking, ambitious project, and not just because of the iconic tower. In total, the city will cost more than $50 billion. Officially, it's meant to ease congestion in Cairo, one of the most overcrowded cities in the world. 
but some people have called it a vanity project for the country's rich elites. The iconic tower will mostly be used for offices. The building is inspired by the shape of ancient Egyptian obelisks. It's extremely close to completion and could potentially be finished in the next couple of months. Before we continue, we want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. With Squarespace, you can create your own website in a super easy way. By using their customizable templates and design tools, you can take your site to the next level. But it's not only for website creation. They have very powerful built-in tools that significantly improve functionality. For example, they have a blogging tool which allows you to easily share your photos and videos and automatically schedule your posts. You can also connect your social media accounts and share your website with your followers to reach even more people. On top of that, their website analytics tools give you powerful insights about who's visiting your site and how they're interacting with your content. All in all, Squarespace is the perfect platform to grow your business and engage with your audience. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash top luxury to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Number 5. J.P. Morgan Chase Building, 423 meters J.P. Morgan Chase is a huge financial services company based in New York City. In 2021, they decided to demolish their existing headquarters, the Union Carbide Building, and start work on a modern replacement. Some people weren't happy when the Union Carbide was demolished. When it was originally built in the 1960s, the main designer was Natalie de Blois. At the time, there weren't many female architects, and the Union Carbide was the tallest building ever to have been designed by a woman. It held this record for 50 years, making it a building of major historical importance, especially to aspiring female architects. It was only beaten in 2009, when the Aqua Tower was designed by Jean Gang. Once their brand new headquarters is completed, it will be a towering technological marvel. Artificial intelligence will be used to manage energy usage in an efficient, intelligent way. The windows will be fitted with automatic solar shades, and the whole thing will be powered by renewable energy from a nearby hydroelectric plant. At a total height of 423 meters, it won't be the tallest building in New York, but it will definitely stand out as one of the most advanced. While they're waiting for the project to open, J.P. Morgan Chase is using another skyscraper, 383 Madison Avenue, as a temporary office. Number 4. Signature Tower, 436 meters This tower is part of a larger project called One Bangkok. It's an urban complex with five office towers, three luxury hotels, and plenty of shops and venues. It's due to accommodate a working population of 60,000 and up to 200,000 visitors every day. A lot of those visitors will want to climb the signature tower, which will be the tallest building in Thailand. If you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to subscribe to Top Luxury. And now, let's move on with number three, China's ongoing skyscraper boom. Instead of a single skyscraper, we can officially find 10 to 20 of these massive skyscrapers under construction in China. However, it's hard to get reliant information about their construction status and video footage to prove that these projects are really on their way. So here, we only feature the most promising skyscrapers under construction in China. One of these is the 394-meter-tall Tower C in Shenzhen. Designed by Zaha Hadid, this is one of the most interesting designs so far. Officially under construction from 2020, it's supposed to finish in only seven years. Then there's the Hechi Yuzui Tower, reaching a staggering height of 498 meters. The building will be the centerpiece of a new waterfront business district. The architects said that the design on the tower's exterior draws its inspiration from the patterns contained in the flowing waters of the nearby Yangtze River. It's not the only skyscraper being built on the edge of the 500-meter building limit currently in force in China. In the southern city of Zhongshan, a tower called the Fuyuan Zhongshan 108 IFC will top out of 498 meters as well. Meanwhile, in Zhongnan, architects are getting even closer to the build limit as they aim for a height of 499 meters. The Suzhou Zhongnan Center was originally planned before the build limit was introduced and was due to reach a staggering height of 729 meters. But when the Chinese government changed the laws, the plans were adjusted to create this smaller version instead. As if this wasn't enough, another 499-meter tower is going up in Nanjing. The Greenland Jinmao International Financial Center will be the tallest building in the city, beating He Chi Yuzui Tower just a few miles away by no more than a single meter. 
Number two, the line, 500 meters. This is probably the most distinctive project on the entire list. This ambitious Saudi Arabian structure is due to stand at a height of 500 meters, but unlike the rest of the skyscrapers on the list so far, it won't be tall and thin. Instead, the line will spread across 170 kilometers of desert. It's the equivalent of several thousand skyscrapers standing side by side, and it makes all the other projects we've mentioned so far look like tiny needles. None of them even come close to the sheer scale of the line. While the future of the line and whether it can ever be completed is unclear, our number one will finally open soon, after years of construction. We're talking, of course, about the Merdeka 118, at a height of 679 meters. This glorious tower in Kuala Lumpur is the second tallest building on Earth. It will probably open in June this year, but some people are too excited to wait. A few weeks ago, a pair of influencers broke into the tower and climbed to the very top. They got some stunning footage overlooking the city, but the two were caught and are now under investigation for trespassing. The word Merdeka means independence, and it was designed to resemble the famous pose of Tunku Abdul Rahman, the statesman who declared Malaysian independence back in 1957. There can't be many people in the world who've had a skyscraper designed to look like them. The building will mostly be used for offices, but it will also have a hotel, a mall, and a couple of observation decks at the very top of the tower. When the doors of the Merdeka finally open, tourists will be able to enjoy breathtaking views from the sky deck. Which one of these skyscrapers are you the most excited about? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to hear more about some amazing skyscrapers that were never built, you can check out this next video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.